Hello everyone, this is Daily Developing and today we're continuing our Python tutorial. Uh, what we will learn is um, we'll write this program that asks us to enter the sample size. Let's say our sample will have five numbers. All right, now it's going to ask us to input all the numbers below. So let's let's make our sample one, two, three, four, five. And now when I hit enter, it'll tell me, okay, here's the sample that we put, all these numbers. Now, the mean is three, the sum, the standard deviation, the median, the variance, right? So it gave us some, so in, a, in, a, in essence, this will be a simple data analyzer that we are writing. And by the way, we can input, the sample could be any size. I mean, it could be like 10, right? And you could put like, by the way, it doesn't even have to be ordered. Like you can, you can make it whatever. Right? So it's not ordered, still it's gonna give you the mean, the sum, the median, everything. Everything is there. So if you wanna know how to do this, make sure to stick around. All right, so first thing that I would like to do is I would like to teach you something that's called arrays. So let's make um, a variable called data and let's do an open brackets, the square brackets, and put one, two, three, four, and five. Right, so what this does is there is some things called arrays. They can hold multiple, multiple values, right? So we know, for example, if we have an integer, it's just one number, it's just five. So if we print number here, and if we print data and run this, this thing is just a number, right? It's just one integer, while the data has five integers inside. And you can access each integer with square brackets. So for example, if you put one, it's gonna give you only one number here. It's gonna give you two. And the reason why you might be wondering why is one, two, is because it's the computer actually starts counting from zero. So this is the zeroth number. So if we put zero here, let's comment this out for a second. This would turn one. So this is the zeroth number. Then if we put one, this is the first number, right? Let's make this like 30, whatever. Let's make this some random numbers here. I just to prove you the point that it doesn't have to be sorted at all. This guy is actually the second number, right? So we humans start counting like, okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, but computers count zero, one, two, three, four. So this is actually zero through four. So if we put four here, four will give us the last number. All right, so now we will be using arrays to store our sample. Okay, now how are we gonna do this? Let's delete this, let's make this empty. So by the way, arrays can be any size, you can make it 100 numbers or 1000 numbers, doesn't matter. We could print, let's just first print. Uh, enter the sa sample size, okay? Now I want to make, make the size, right? Equals int input. Okay, so what I do here is I first have to know how many numbers you want to input. Next, I will do for i in range size. Now we want, we want to let you input that many numbers. And in here, what I'll do is data and int input. And at the end, let's just print the data. Now, if we run this, what, what happens is, first it's asks us how, what's the sample size. Let's make it, let's say, let's make our sample three numbers. All right, let's now put one, two, three. All right, now our sample is three numbers. And by the way, let's, let's uh, print something. So it's not confusing. Um, enter the sample below or something like that, just to make this a bit easier to understand. Okay, let's make our sample. We'll have four numbers. Enter the sample below. Let's make it two, one, four, three. So we said in first, let's just walk through the code to make sure everyone's on the same page. We first ask you, how many numbers are you going to input? All right, and save it in size. In this case, we put four. Okay, so size equals four. Now, 
we're just printing, okay, enter the sample below, right? We just print this text just to make it kind of easier to understand. Then we know that we need to input four numbers. So we are running a for loop that will run exactly four times in this case, right? So this will run size number of times. Size is four, so this will run four times. And what this append function does is it adds one to the sample, right? So for example, if if the sample is just has only one number, append will just add a second number. And then because this will run four times, it'll in total add four numbers. Now, if a size could be different, right? I mean, we could change size to five and instead of four, let's make it five. Right? This will be completely uh, flexible. We can put any, the sample can be any size and it's just going to run. Okay, in this case, because the size is five, we are going to, this for loop will run this five times, right? Size is five, so therefore, if size equals to five, then the for loop runs five times, right? And so in essence, if size is n, then loop runs n number of times, right? That's kind of how you can remember this. And then, if this runs n number of times, we are inputting n numbers. Okay, so five times, if sample, if size is five, we will add five numbers to the data. Okay, and that, this is what happened here. Okay, we just added five numbers, all five numbers to the data using append. Append just adds the number, okay? All right. Hopefully now we understand that. If if there are, by the way, if there are any confusions, feel free to comment down below. I will answer them personally, okay? Just comment down below. Um, next thing I would like to do is, um, now actually let's calculate all the data, right? I mean, we want to know what's the mean, what's the median, what's the standard deviation. And in order to do that, what we have to do is there's a function called import and let's import statistics. So what this does is statistics, right, has some resources, some extra functions, some things that we need to use. Without importing this, it's not gonna work. And by the way, uh, I'll show you exactly what this import is. Just uh, wait a minute and you will understand in a second. So let's print mean, and then we can press comma here. And what we do here is statistics, mean right the first function and then we put the data so now for example if we put one two and three all right it gave us the mean down below so in essence what it, what is this import right so statistics is think about it as a class as a as extra resources right it has like extra code that you didn't write it's just somebody else's code, in essence, that you can use, right? You can import and you use in your own code. And so we kind of imported some other code and we used the function mean, all right? And then all we do is we just print it. Without importing this, this is not gonna work because it doesn't know what is statistics. What is statistics, right? It has no idea. But if you import that, all right, it knows, okay, so. Go to this class and find if, if there is a function called mean. And then just put the data. Now what we could do is we could uh, find the standard deviation, right? And the way is stdev, that will give us the standard deviation. Then let's see the median. And uh, you just type median here. The last thing that we need is the variance. And you can put variance here. Oh, and by the way, I think I missed the sum. So what we could do is let's make this sum here. But in this case, sum is not going to be here. Sum is just a default Python function. Okay, so you don't need statistics that's uh, sum. You just type sum. All right, sum of the data. Now if we run this, 
and do the sample size. Let's make it four numbers. All right, let's uh, make this bigger. Now let's put, let's say, 10, uh, 6, uh, 4, and 20. Okay, so give us the sum. And by the way, you guys can calculate this, right? The sum is 40. It's absolutely true. The mean. So mean is just sum divided by 4, which is 10. That's correct. The standard deviation. If you calculate the standard deviation by hand, you'll see that this number is actually correct. And then the median, well, the median would be the, uh, in something in between, right? So it would be four, some, between six and 10, the average. Okay, so because this is an even um, sample, right? Sample that has even numbers in it, um, it's going to take the average of six and 10, which is eight. So that's correct too. And then variance, you know, if you calculate variance by hand, you'll see that this is actually accurate. Okay, so we just written a simple data analyzer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please put thumbs up. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. And uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bells. So every time I release a new uh, video, new Python tutorial, so you can watch it. All right, see you next time.